Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Singapore. Ying and I are on our way to the MRT. We are going to take the MRT to Chinese Garden Station and there we are going to meet up with Daniel who is going to take us to two of his favorite chicken rice restaurants in Singapore. So we are on our way now and I'm looking forward to eating chicken rice. Daniel is a food lover from Singapore and we walked over, it rained pretty hard, but we walked over to, it's called Yuwa Village Food Market and Food Center. This is yet another delicious hawker center in Singapore and Daniel is a, a, a real chicken rice lover. And so I'm hanging out with Daniel and we're gonna try this, uh, which is roasted chicken rice. And then we got it over rice so you can see that slightly brown colored rice from being cooked with a chicken yeah. chicken stock and then the sauce is on the side there's also some looks like gizzard yes and what else is on here uh, it's basically the same it's all gizzard yes oh, okay so it's all gizzard and all gizzard is one of my favorite yeah. organs of the chicken okay I'm gonna go in for the sauce and I gotta go in for one of those chicken. there's a little bit of bone still on here yeah. so I will put that over there and I will kind of take it off the, the bone for my bowl. Oh, oops, and there, I will put that back onto my plate and, and then take a bite like that. Mm -hmm. Then try the soup, it goes well together. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, before I explain that, let me just taste it, take a bite of the soup. Oh, wow. Okay, that is some awesome chicken rice. What immediately stood out to me about this plate of chicken rice is both the chicken and the sauce. So the rice is also very good, but the chicken is very firm. You know sometimes how chicken can be kind of like almost crumbly and dry? This chicken is not crumbly or dry whatsoever, but it has like a firm, almost muscular texture without being chewy. It is awesome. I have to be honest and say with chicken rice, I'm not a big fan of skin when it's boiled yeah. because it doesn't have that much flavor to me. But when it's roasted, it's mm. awesome. In addition to the chicken, the sauce is also really, really good. It's more of a sour garlic and chili sauce. Mm. Maybe just a tiny bit of ginger. It's not, not heavy on the ginger like some versions, but the sauce is wonderful. Okay, I'm going in for a bite. Let me get some of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double up on the, on the gizzard this time. Mm -hmm. The crispness of those gizzards is wonderful. They are almost crisp like cucumbers, actually. And then, but not chewy, just a really good texture. And that sauce is superb. One of the little bowls of sauce was definitely not enough because that sauce is really, really good sauce. That is, I think that's some of the best Singapore chicken rice sauce that I've ever had. The balance of flavor is awesome and I really love the garlicky flavor. So I'm gonna go in for a, a nice scoop of sauce on this next bite of chicken. Oh, and all over that entire piece. Oh, that is gonna be a good bite. Let me try to, I'm gonna try to debone it though, so I debone it. Oh, look at all that sauce. Oh, that's just, that is just gorgeous. And chase it with the cucumber. That was some soup. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. That is just the ultimate comfort bite combination of chicken rice. That roasted chicken rice was absolutely superb. From here we are gonna go to another chicken rice restaurant that serves the boiled chicken rice. So that way we'll be able to compare the two and that's our next eating stop. From that food center, uh, we actually met up with Daniel's dad he, who drove us almost across all the way to a different part of Singapore. We're now on Middle Street and we're gonna try a traditional version of Hainanese boiled chicken rice at a next restaurant. What is the restaurant called? 
Yetcon. The restaurant is called Yetcon. As soon as you step into Yetcon restaurant, it just you can just feel the old fashioned feeling of this place. It's it's on this on the mirror back here. It says since 1940. So at least since 1940, this place has been around, and I don't think it's changed maybe at all since then, which is wonderful. Daniel and his father have said that they serve a very traditional version of Hainanese chicken rice here, and so we just got a plate. We're gonna have a communal style, so we all got bowls of rice and then a big plate of chopped up boiled chicken. And so yeah, this is different from the roasted style of chicken that we had a few minutes before. You even gotta love these tables, the circular tables. Oh, and the chairs too, the chairs are just classic. You cannot find yeah. these type of <laughs> antiques very often at restaurants anymore. And there's two different sauces. This one is the chili sauce, and then this one is just pureed ginger. And then this yep. is the thin cabbage soup. And then the rice, you can actually even see a, a shallot. I'm gonna just try the rice first before anything. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. It's really fluffy and not too oily. But you, yeah, you can taste the faintness of shallots, I think, in there. Maybe a little bit of garlic, like toasted garlic. Okay, I'm gonna go in for some of that ginger. Hey. I gotta load it up on my first bite to get the full, the full mouth, full mouth experience. I'm gonna put on some of the, the chili as well. Get all of that, and I don't know if I have space on this bite for rice, so I'll, I'll chase it with rice after this bite. <laughs> the ginger, mmm, it's not too oily, but it. It really has a beautiful, again, it has a beautiful texture. It's really moist and slightly, just slightly, not, not chewy, but it has a little bit of texture to it. It's not, it's not like fall apart, but which is in a very good way. The ginger is what I really love. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going in for another piece of this. Look at all those layers of that boiled chicken. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set this down in the sauce for a little bit and and roll it, roll it into the sauce. And then put this onto my rice. And I don't think you should ever take a bite without ginger. Yeah, you have to soak with the ginger. Yeah, <laughs> I could, I think that, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really good. And the chicken is really juicy and moist. Let me take a spoonful of the soup. And this is, it almost looks like the last soup that we had with just cabbage in it. Mm. The soup almost tastes the same as the last soup as well. Just very thin and cabbage. And, but I think there's more cilantro in this soup than the last one. But the soup, the soup is almost the same flavor. The time has come to refill my sauces and I love how they serve both the ginger and the chili sauce in these jars. This is the ginger puree, and it is just, it's actually drinkable. It's so good. It's not like a burning ginger, so it might be young ginger. So it's just very, very fragrant, but it doesn't burn your mouth like, like some ginger. It's just superb. I'm gonna take a piece of chicken. I really like how I had some other chicken rice here in Singapore. And after they chopped up the chicken like this, they added some really oily sauce to it. And it was kind of too oily for me, but so I like this old style where they don't add all that extra sauce, but just keep the pure boiled chicken. And then just with these simple pureed ginger and chili sauce to go with it. And that's just pure and just really, really good. We just finished eating the boiled chicken rice and I have to be honest and say that I thought the roasted chicken rice was going to be hard to top. Um, and it was extremely good. And I thought the, the, the boiled chicken rice, there was no way it was gonna compete with the roasted chicken rice. But now that I've tried both of your favorite chicken rice shops, I'd have to say they're both, they're both on the same level of greatness. And to be able to choose a favorite I don't know, man. Do you have a Do you have a favorite between the two? 
Well, you have to depend on the variation, on the kind of chicken rice that you want to go to. Like for instance, you want yeah. roasted, you go to the previous one. You want steamed chicken, you came over here. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. Yeah. It, you can't choose a favorite, it just depends on your mood mm. for the day if you want the roasted version or the boiled version. Just want to say a big thank you to Daniel for bringing us to two of his favorite chicken rice shops in Singapore and also to his dad, Kenneth, for driving us here to the second one. And yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also leave a comment below and I will see you on the next food video.